the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. There are a number of points I want to bring up about Jesus' crucifixion. For instance, his crucifixion is well documented because the Romans were quite an advanced civilization. First, Jesus was scourged very badly with something called a flogrum. Then, the Romans made him carry his cross outside the city to be crucified. Jesus kept falling under the weight of the cross, so the Romans compelled a man named Simon of Cyrene to carry Jesus' cross. Once there, they nailed him to the cross. There is some debate as to whether Jesus' feet were nailed one on top of the other, or if they straddled the post of the cross. Also, his arms may have been tied to the cross to help support his weight. Once on the cross, Jesus could inhale, but the only way he could exhale is when he lifted himself up, which would have been very painful. Now there is a theory that Jesus didn't really die, and when they placed him in the tomb, he revived. This could not happen. The Romans never used crucifixion as a scare tactic. Once you were nailed to the cross, you stayed there until you were dead. There is a report that a person survived on the cross for nine days before they finally died. Plus, the Romans struck a spear in Jesus' side, causing blood and water to come out. People believe this water is pericardial fluid from around the heart. After that, if Jesus was still alive, he would need immediate medical attention or he would die very quickly. After seeing he was dead, they took him down and placed him in a tomb and put a stone in front of it. Reports say that Jesus was on the cross for about six hours.